Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. He also said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Children are fully capable of having a personal relationship with Christ. This is why we believe it's important to give children the opportunity to make that decision for themselves. This is one of the primary ways that we as the church can support parents in the role of guiding their children in their spiritual growth. We encourage you to prayerfully consider how to best present the message of salvation. ResourceWell offers a few different illustrations that help the children understand our need for salvation and the role of our Savior. These salvation messages are designed to go with specific lessons, but they can be easily adapted to be used anytime. Each takes a different approach to the same message, concluding in an invitation for individuals to pray to receive Christ as personal Lord and Savior. The Worship, the Word, and the Way uses the ABC prayer of salvation, which says, Lord Jesus, I admit I am a sinner. I believe you are the Lord who died to take my sins away. Please come into my heart and I will follow you forever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You can use the ABC prayer or any prayer like it to help children who want to invite Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. The Children's Guide for New Believers is a booklet we recommend you give any child who receives Christ as his or her Lord and Savior. The booklet contains the salvation message and the ABC prayer. It also contains a letter to the parents, as well as next steps for the child's spiritual growth. Prayerfully consider the age of the children before presenting the salvation message. Very young children are so impressionable that we recommend, in general, waiting to present the salvation message until the children are about six years old or older, depending on your culture. Children are easily influenced by the group dynamic, so we also suggest you prayerfully consider the way you plan to present the message and the way you plan to invite children to respond. Our goal is to not pressure the children in any way, but to simply present the salvation message and allow the Holy Spirit to work in the hearts of those children in whatever way He sees fit. You may be sowing seeds that will be reaped many years later. Our role is just to be faithful, to sow the seeds, and watch what God does.